Hi, this is Lisa Crosby, and in this video, I'm going to show you the brand new in preview Dynamics 365 Sales Mobile App. There it is on my phone. I'm actually going to broadcast thing, this thing onto the screen for you so that you can see it properly and take you through a demo of how you can use it. This is really quick and easy way to work with and update your information in Dynamics 365 Sales and all we want is to make it easier for salespeople to get that information into the system. And, and this um, really, you know, does that. You can see meetings, recent and upcoming, including the opportunity information that that meeting is related to. You can see your recent contacts and recent records and just jump into those with a single click and a nice, easy summary screen, which you can edit and add notes to. We're also going to see how you can use voice to text on your device to add the notes so you don't even have to type them out. Nice easy search search functionality. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, this is great. Let's get into it and I'll take you through how it all works. This is the home screen of the app and I'll just uh, take a moment to orient you around what you get on the screen and you'll see through this demo as we go through it, it's all designed to put front and center things that salespeople need so you don't have to kind of go through that full CRM type experience, you're just jumping straight to what you need. So at the top of the screen here, I have got uh, my meetings. You can see I'm recording this at uh, just before 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So you'll see there's a meeting there, the review meeting that happened earlier this morning uh, and the meeting that's coming up in a couple of, uh, in about 16 minutes. There we go. I'll just start to sort of prove that this is real. There we go, refresh it and it's coming up now in 14 minutes. Minutes. It's been sitting there for a bit. We've got a list of recent contacts. So this is any contacts here that I have um, been into recently. And this picks up my navigation both on the app and in the web application. So I'll show you a little bit later. If I go in and, and view someone in that web application, then it will also come up here as a recent contact. So it's not just who I've done, who I've looked at recently on the mobile. We've also got recent records here. So I've got a, a mixture of things here. Uh, the one with the little suitcase there is a an opportunity. Uh, the buildings is a, an account. Um, this will also show up other types of records uh, from dynamic sales. So if I'm working with leads or quotes and things like that. So basically, apart from contacts, any of those other sort of records that I've been working in the system will, will come up in that recent section. And then I've got reminders here. Now this is coming from the sales assistant functionality in Dynamics 365 sales. We've got reminders which pop up with things like, um, you know, no activity with an account. Uh, the propensity to purchase there is actually a custom reminder I've, I've created using the uh, Sales Insights license. That's an extra add-on thing. But even if you're not using that, you'll get those um, standard reminders from the assistant about um, activity and things that need to be followed up sitting in there. It will just give you the first three. Um, and then also Insights. So this is where the assistant is doing something a little bit more clever by, for instance, noticing that there's a, an issue in an email um, that might be causing a, a problem for an upcoming opportunity or something like that. And then at the bottom here, we've got our navigation menu. So we've got the ability to go in and do a search to find anything else in the system. We have got our meetings, which takes us through to a calendar view, which shows you the full uh, the full calendar of, of, um, of what you've got there in a very outlook kind of way. And then the more menu actually takes you back into an experience that is like the previous mobile app, or in fact, very much like the web-based experience. So we'll We'll come back to that. I'll just go back to home and uh, and let's start from the top here and, and work through this. So if I've got a meeting coming up, what this is allowing me to do is to view all of the context that goes with that meeting. So you'll see when I go into that, I've got a planning meeting for 30 minutes. We've got two attendees and I can see that Sandra there has accepted, but Edna in fact hasn't accepted. And this particular meeting is set to be regarding connected to an opportunity in dynamics. So what I'm getting there in preparation, I'm a salesperson in preparation for my meeting, I've got information about who's coming, who's accepted and the related opportunity. Now you can relate to other records as well in, in the system, depending on what you're working on. Opportunity is a, a nice uh, common one there. And I can see straight away, I've got the estimated revenue, the closed, the 
update the pipeline phase and so on and I can add notes in there as well. Um, just to show you adding a note here we can go in here and type in a note so this is a note that's going against that opportunity um, record so I can say here um, uh, let's say let's send documents and I can type that in. But the other thing I can do here is actually use the voice to text uh, on my phone. So let's see how uh, let's see how we go with that. Send Sandra the documents after the meeting and get Eric to follow up with her. Not bad, hey. Whoops. <laughs> All right, you've got to turn off your voice recognition before you start commenting on, <laughs> commenting on those things. Um, so we'll just go back to there. All right, good. And we will save that. So so you can use that to create, um, you know, to create notes and so on um, and, and put all of those things in there very easily. So the idea here is that whenever I'm in a, a meeting, in preparation for a meeting, I can grab my phone, grab the mobile app and get all of that contextual information right before I start that meeting in a really nice, easy easy format. All of the, um, the things on this can be the, uh, the forms and things can be configured. So for instance, when we're looking at that meeting there, uh, we've got estimated revenue, estimated close date and pipeline phase. You could choose other things to come up there so that you've got the thing that's the most important uh, to you or your sellers. All right, let's have a look at recent contacts here. So we will go in and have a look at Sandra. Same concept here. We can actually go in and um, make, you know, configurations so that this will show just the things that you want. But we've got Sandra, uh, we've got her job title and all of her details there. I can go in and edit that. Let's say I realize I've got her phone number wrong. This is all totally fictional uh, data here, by the way. Um, then I can go in and, and make that change and, and save and do all of those things. Again, I could, um, I could add Add another note in here same thing that I just did before by typing it or using the the voice I've got reminders and insights so like we saw on the home screen but this time related specifically to this particular contact so you can see there's an email left unread so I could go in and have a look at that um, and some issues there that are, that are coming up from the insights in the assistant it's a really nice, clean user interface, I think. Very kind of easy to navigate around. Uh, let's go and have a look at a, a recent opportunity that I've been working on. So that's the one that actually was related to the meeting that I just had. So you'll see that coming through there. Let's have a look at an account. Uh, and again, this is a, a form. We've just got the the um, the main details there and so on. And I could add a note. Um, I could you know configure that screen to to show the the most important things that I need there as well. So let's just have a look at the, uh, the search functionality here. This actually allows you to use uh, what's called relevant search in the system. So I'm just going to pop in. I'm going to use the same search. You can see I've already tested it there. I'm going to use Ingenious as my search because what I've got is um, more than one record with that in there. And you'll see what happens is it gives me the search results categorized by things there. So you can see I've got a lead related to that. I've got an account called Ingenious Inks. I've got contacts related to that. I've also got opportunities related to that. So if I'm searching for something, it's bringing up as, as per the settings you've put in Dynamics about how you want relevant search to work, it's going to bring up um, search results. And I can filter those here to say, actually, I only want to see um, accounts or something like that and, and bring that in. So you can do a nice sort of quick keyword search in there and, um, and get what you want uh, very easily within the, within the app as well. Um, all right, meetings we saw before. So we've got the ability to go through and and, um, and see what meetings we've got. So you'll see we've got the review meeting and the planning meeting. And as I mentioned earlier, the full app and the full kind of experience behind the scenes here, you can still get back into that if you want to. So I could go into contacts there and, and this now starts to look like the, the previous mobile app where you're getting something that's essentially just a, um, a, a shorter, a, 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 um, a version of your full, uh, web-based application but on the mobile I think now that we've got all of this stuff at the front here it's going to be um, much more much more appealing to use it this way. You will see if um, the other thing I can do here if I go back into the contact is I can at any time if I want to get the full view I can also go back into here. So you'll see this takes me into something that looks very much the same as the um, as the main web-based um, application with with everything in there. So if you need to go further than than what's there then you can absolutely still do that.
Let me just switch across into the main uh, web-based app now and I'll show you what happens if I make some changes there and how that affects the mobile app. So in the main web application, you'll see um, you know, all those same insights that we were just looking at, the, the planning meeting that's coming up and so on there. But let me just sort of go in here and I will change something. You know, I've, I've come back in at the end of the day. Uh, let's say I have a, look at, um, have a look at this account here and I might go into my opportunities. And so I've had a look at Lost Library and I've had a look at, say, this planning and enablement opportunity and I've done some things there. And then I'll just switch back to the mobile and we'll show you the impact that that has had on that just so that you can see that that will pick up the same thing. So I'm just going to refresh that. And you'll see if we watch here, the, the I had at the top of my recent records there, Magnificent Tomes and Community Portal. We'll just refresh that. And there you go. The ones that I just clicked on there, we've got Planning and Enablement and Lost Library. So you'll see as we go through and, and interact with the with the web application, um, that, that will also change the, the, recent, the recent records on the mobile app. So there you go. That's our brand new in preview at the time of recording, which is January 2021, Dynamics 365 sales mobile app designed so that um, salesperson is getting exactly what they need, very front and center, all the contextual information about meetings very easy to take notes you can use the the voice dictation on um, on your phone uh, easy access to your recent contacts recent records nice simple search functionality in there um, as well and uh, you can also jump back into the full the full records if you need to have fun with that I think this is going to be awesome even if we're not out and about so much at the moment I think uh, I think this makes it much easier to interact with the data than uh, than always having to go back into the full web application.